Heimdall Patch and Asset Management is a cloud-based solution that will enable you to handle your third-party patch management as well as your operating system updates while adding a bunch of other controls without the need of you investing in any additional infrastructure. Once you install the agent, it will start operating as per the configuration that you have decided. When it comes to the configuration, the Heimdall solution allows you to create as many group policies as you wish and configure them to meet your organization's need. Next, we will open one of these group policies and we will look at each of these individual layers to see exactly how can these make our lives easier. After opening the settings, I will navigate to Patch and Assets. So let's start with third-party patch management. When it comes to this, Heimdall handles over 200 applications in the ever-growing support list, applications for which whenever these vendors release an update, in maximum four hours, the Heimdall patching team has taken the update, checked it for malware, backdoor, and also checked it for any unwanted applications, tested the patch functionality, and once all of these took place, it will be made available for your computer. And this usually takes maximum four hours from the moment of release. When it is available to your computer, if you have the update command on, which is what we recommend, this will silently install in your computer. So the user interruption is inexistent. Aside of this having its core functionality to silently keep everything up to date for you, you also have a bunch of things that will come in very handy. Push installing, making available for install as a software catalog item, when it comes to sensitive applications, you might want to enable the chance for the user to postpone a certain update. You might want to delay certain updates from their initial moment with a few days. And also, when it comes to versioning, you can lock this to a specific version. And if the version that you're locking it to is a previous version to the latest version, in that moment, it will also roll back to this version that you have decided here. Now, aside of this, you also can use the Heimdall Patch and Asset Manager to uninstall certain apps in your environment. You can uninstall an exact version, all versions, all versions lower than an exact version, or higher than an exact version. And when you do this, you can also do all of these actions based on a certain time parameter, which you can achieve with the patching schedule. In my example, I have patching Monday through Sunday, every day in between 12 noon and midnight. Now, aside of all of this, I want to navigate at the top and let you know about two other things. With the standard patching, you also have a full asset inventory. And this will show you all the software assets that are installed in your estate. Now, for the people that have a big patching appetite, we also have Infinity Management, which allows you, as a patching professional, to open up the list of applications that Heimdall will handle and add your own applications to the mix. When you do that, these applications that you have added, of course, will be highlighted so that you know uh, how to differentiate them. And then you can do the same actions that you do with the regular supported apps. You can push install, keep up to date if you put a newer version of the, the patch, make it available for install. Of course, you can use the postpone mechanism, a delay, and so on and so forth. Literally the same controls. Now, aside of this coming with the custom patching for which you can do pre-installed scripting, post-installed scripting, all the features that you would normally need in such a process. 
the Infinity Management add-on also comes with Software Asset Management, so you can literally monitor your software license usage, and also comes with IPXC, which is a technology that allows a computer to have a Windows installation when it's on the same network. So you designate one computer to be the server, and the other computer just needs to be on the same network. And you can install either a re-image a computer with a fresh version of Windows, or you can install it from bare metal when you get a new computer and you need to provision it. Now that we've seen what the product can do for you, let's see how the day-to-day -day management looks like. When you go to the home screen, you will see the widgets reporting the activity that has happened between the time frame that you're looking at. And when you want to dig deeper into the details, you can simply view more details or open the product space on the left hand side and click said module. When I open this, I will be greeted by the latest patch view, which will show me either in a table grid view or in a matrix view, what are the latest details happening when it comes to patching? I will see downgrades, such as this one. I will see upgrades, such as this one. And I can also see pure installations, such as this. If it has a CVE or a CVSS attached to it, and a CVSS attached to it, if it has a CVE and a CVSS attached to it, you will simply see it here. And if you click the CVE article, it will take you directly to the NIST website. Now, aside of this view, you also have a bunch of other views that will help you out. Current status showing you a quick diagram of everything that's happening. Currently out of date, historically outdated, up to date, and uninstalled. And any of these views can be extracted as a custom report. Moreover, you can filter these views and only look at certain groups of computers based on your configuration. Now, let's see what are the other views that can assist us here. We have a quick reporting view to see the patches applied per endpoint. We have the software asset inventory view which will show us via a stacked manner how many endpoints and servers have a certain version of a certain application, or we can expand this in a non-stacked manner and see by computer each of the applications that we have installed. And with the click of a button, I have a full report over all the applications. I can see if Heimdall keeps this up to date for me or if I need to put this in my private patching. And also I can see if Heimdall can quickly and silently uninstall this from my computer. Now last but not least, we also have a compliance checker in which you can check if you had situations in which you were not compliant with your patching. And if you're from the UK, and you are following the Cyber Essentials compliance framework, then you can clearly see based on the Cyber Essentials parameters if your machine was or was not compliant in a certain day or in a certain interval of days. Now that we've seen what the third-party patch management will do for you, let's have a look at the operating system updates. When it comes to the operating system updates, the Heimdall tool will deploy a set of wide controls to assist you with this process. When you first start working with this layer, you can use it just to report vulnerability on your missing updates, allowing you to install said updates through your preferred method. If you disable this, now Heimdall will take control over your update process. And we will go through all of these controls together, but the main thing that you need to decide here is how does the installation process take place? You can have a fully manual approach, which means that everything will wait up for, will queue up and wait for your approval. You can have a fully automated approach, which will suppress reboot and install everything that Microsoft says your computer needs, 
or you can meet this process in, a, in the middle and install certain categories automatically, leaving just a few outside for your manual approval, which is my favorite option. Now, after you decided what is the installation method you will use, now you get to decide what are the additional controls and capabilities, such as capturing also optional updates, not just the required ones, preventing Windows 10 to 11 auto upgrade, installing and capturing updates of other Microsoft products that you have installed and for which Microsoft delivers the updates via the OS updates, and also excluding certain updates from your install process and you can just add the KB value and that update will never be installed by Heimdall regardless if you have a full automatic approach by suppressing reboot and installing everything that comes in. Now, after we decided how the updates will get installed, what other updates we're capturing from Microsoft and if we're excluding anything, now, we go to the final set of controls, which are an automated delay from the moment zero in which your computer negotiated with Microsoft that it needs this particular update, a scheduler in which you choose in which days do you want the scan for updates and install of additional updates to take place. And in this particular example, let's do two times per month in the second and third Friday of every month. And we will choose an active timer, let's say in the second part of the day until midnight. This means that only in the second and third Friday of each month, in between 3 p.m. and midnight, this tool will scan for and install missing updates. Now, I also have a reboot schedule in which I will tell the product when is it allowed to suggest a reboot to the computer. And I can have a force reboot or I can be a bit more flexible and allow the users to postpone a couple of times with a certain number of minutes. And this comes with a very wide selection. So you can pick and choose exactly what is best for you. And last but not least, I can also set up delivery optimization, which will leverage peer-to-peer -peer transfer, as well as I can limit the bandwidth for the actual downloads. Now the configuration is complete. Let's go to day-to-day -day operations. Good. So in day-to-day -day operations, I will be greeted by a different set of views over here. I will have the first view with what has been installed and I'll see the title, the KB, the severity, how many endpoints and servers got this installed. If it had a CVE or a CVSS, what product is this related to? And also what category is this a part of? Now, of course, I can report. I can look at a few groups of mine. I can check the view per updates or I can switch the view to endpoints and have a total number of updates that have been installed. But this is basically the view of what has happened. Let's get to the more active views, which are pending. This means that this update has been approved and is waiting for the computer to either install it or to do the reboot. In this particular case, it's not the reboot because it will not require a reboot. In this particular case, it just is waiting for the computer to be available. Now, the next view called available, this is where you would need to put in a bit of your effort. And this will only be populated if you chose an install option that is something outside of suppress reboot and install everything because this means that the updates that you are queuing up here will never be automatically installed without your say so. Now, let's see, what would I need to do to install an update? And let's take this example. This particular KB is required on eight endpoints and two servers. Now, 
I will of course do my due diligence and make sure that I approve this update because there's a reason why I did not allow this particular category in my automatic updates. Now, if I decided that I do not want this update, I simply hide it from the list. And I also can exclude this and make sure it will not be installed or and on any other machine of mine. But if I want to install it, I'll simply hit install. And when I do this, I can approve this for all my groups in the future, meaning that it will not require um, an approval in the future. Or I can do this custom per one or multiple policies based on my selection. In this example, I'll just do it for all the computers. And when we do this, it will disappear from the, the available list and it will move, of course, into the pending list. Now, once the number of endpoints and servers get to zero, meaning that all of these targeted machines have the update, it will disappear from the pending and you guessed it, it will move into installed. Now, there are also some other views that will assist me, such as the error view, in which I will see the error code coming from Microsoft telling me what happened in the install process. I can also see a full list of assets, meaning all the updates that have been installed on this machine after the initial moment when the OS came clean. And last but not least, I also have a compliance checker in which I can check compliance in a certain set of severity, a certain set of categories, and I can check it on a specific OS, on a specific date in time, or in a certain interval of time. And when it comes to this, we have a very aggressive compliance checker that we've built, which means that any update that you're missing will show you as non-compliant. And we also have the Cyber Essentials checker, which is a bit more relaxed when it comes to this. And this will be very good for everybody that is working in the UK and they need the Cyber Essentials compliance. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the operating system and third-party patch management from Heimdall.